Hey guys, it's QP83 here. So there's a new Ever After High on the street, and this is the review of her. This is Cedar Woods. I love Cedar Woods. She's fantastic. Cedar Woods is Pinocchio's daughter. She's part of the Rebel group. The whole concept of Ever After High is rebels versus royals. So changing your destiny versus keeping your destiny as is. They have a really good web series going on on the Ever After High channel, so you may want to check that out. But let's get to the, the review here. This is Cedar Woods. She has rooted brown hair. It's really, really cute. She has some purple highlights that you can see within her braid. It's a little hard to tell because they are very small and braided into her hair, but they are there. Thick brown eyebrows. She has some brown eye makeup over her eye. She has light, light blush on her cheeks. And she has this really cool lip design here. She has a dark red right in the center of her lip and then a more neutral color on either side of that. It's cool, I didn't expect that. And it was kind of strange at first, but honestly I think it's grown on me. One really cool thing about Cedar's face mold is that she has like wood lines put on her face. So if you were to look here, she has like a textured face to look like wood, to look like a tree essentially. Both sides of her face is pretty much starting here and going down. She has some lines on either side of her forehead that are a little harder to notice on camera, but you can see them when you're looking at her. Her dress is a purple-pink combo. There's not much to it, but it's a cute design. And it looks good on her, which is I think the important thing. She has knee-high stockings here. And she has some awesome shoes. I really love all the shoes they give these dolls. Clearly, they need to go into the shoe design business because these are awesome. One small flaw in her costume design is that her socks are uneven. I don't know if it's all the dolls because I wasn't paying close enough attention when I picked her up. However, hers are clearly different sizes. So it'll be interesting to see if that's a factory thing or if it's just this doll. She is the coolest skin out of any Ever After High doll thus far. Why is it so cool, you ask? Because it's ridged like bark. It's really cool. It has, little, has a lot of texture to it. She has lines all over her neck, all over her arms, all over her legs. It's just super, super cool. Now, what I did notice is some of her joints took a little while to really bend as far as they should, and some had some weird creaking noises going on as I bent them the first time. That scared me a bit. However, her body, in terms of design, is fantastic. Cedar Woods comes with a purse. It opens. You can't really stick anything in it though, so unfortunately, while I've kept the interactive aspect of it, you really can't do anything with it in terms of storing things, which is kind of sad. She also comes with a comb, and she comes with her bookmark, as we've seen with other dolls. She wears a gold bangle. Again, she has a two-fingered ring. Try to keep the plastic on the ring, because these things fall off so easily if you take the elastic off. She, of course, comes with her stand, which is working fine at the moment. I love it. Uh, and she has a green hairpin as well. In terms of pros, I think she has a really cute look. She looks just adorable. I love that they brought the bark-like elements to her face. In terms of cons, yes, again, she has a simple dress. I do think they should maybe step outside the box in terms of how they design the outfits. And her socks, as I mentioned, are really uneven. Not even just a smidge uneven, they're like really uneven. I think Cedar Woods is an awesome addition to the Ever After High line. You can check out my blog, Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. You can check out our Facebook page, also Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. And I'll see you soon with more doll and toy reviews. Bye!